What is up wax fans? It's Patricia and welcome to my empties video for vendor wax and retail and candles for February and March. And I must say I haven't really been working very strategically on these items so I don't have a lot but I'm going to go through what I have here because I just want to clear things out and recycle. So I finished up two candles. The first one was The Perfect Christmas by Bath and Body Works and this is a three wick. And I also finished one of these up, I think maybe two to three months ago. So the notes on this are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. When you get the pure, true nature of the scent, it's really, really nice. But as you burn it down, it does get that smoky tendency. So it wasn't perfect <laughs> because it did kind of suffer maybe the bottom quarter to bottom third. I would pick that up and potentially chop it and melt it if I needed a lot of wax, which I do not. But if I saw this candle for a really good price or I was craving this, I would pick it up and chop it up. I have from Candlelight a Naughty or Nice One Wick little tiny three ounce candle. And this was really, it was nice. It wasn't naughty. I think it was a little spicy and that's why they were saying that. You have to be someone that likes those spicy holiday type fragrances to like this. So it, it threw not strong but it definitely threw for this tiny little candle and the burn was pretty good too i don't really have any complaints about this not too much wax at the bottom either so this was gifted to me by a co-worker so thank you so much all right so i have three retail wax uh the first one we'll talk about i've worn before it is better homes and gardens caramel bread pudding this was gifted to me by teresa t for two so thank you so much i do love this scent it's a very gourmand uh medium to heavy bakery and sweet and ooey gooey really good performance with that the next one was a new to me scent that i actually surprisingly really liked it's called wonderful spice from sensationals it was definitely spicy but it had an array of spices that were, weren't all what you were expecting like they have a picture of star anise so i think there was a few different spices in here than a traditional spice scent it was a little bit of an exotic sophisticated spice with a tiny vanilla back base it was really nice i would pick this up again if i needed more wax which i don't and cessationals marshmallow crispies this smelled like a fruit loop cereal scent very strong performed very well i warmed this twice in my open area three cubes at a time same with wonderful spice and caramel bread pudding i have three 24 watt hot plates there i just put one cube in each and Typically, it lasts almost a full day, sometimes more, sometimes less. All right, let's talk about vendor wax. We'll do the U.S. first from Harper James. This was gifted to me. It's called Snowfall. And this was the six pack. I think she calls them brownies, brownie bites or something. Uh, iced mint, frosted strawberry, whipped vanilla, whipped vanilla and light musk. I wasn't sure about this if I was gonna like it, but it was actually a nice pleasant surprise. You got the mintiness and the strawberry and performance was about a medium. From Hayden Row, I finished up a clamshell and caramel latte. This has notes of coffee, caramel, and sweet cream. And this performed at about a medium to medium light for me. I warmed it in my open area. I don't think I'd repurchase that, but it was pleasant. From L3 Waxy Wonders, I finished up a few items. I probably have the most from L3 and since she's closing I thought it's good to kind of finish up things and see if there's anything that I like. I did put myself on the customs list before I found out she was closing but I'm really far down so we'll see what happens. I finished up Seaside. This was an aquatic scent that I don't recall very well because it, it, it was nice here in my bedroom. It was kind of softer than I thought but I didn't need to repurchase that. Pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla ice cream and amaretto. Surprisingly, this was okay for me. Sometimes I'm a little nervous with pumpkin pe pecan waffles and also amaretto, but this one wasn't too bad. It didn't last overly long, I don't think. This one I warmed a while ago, so my memory is fuzzy. I finished up a trick tart and jelly donut. I did really enjoy this. I had this going when I was leaving my other house and I had it, it just kept going and going. So sometimes scents will still keep going but we think they're done because i remember I'd, i would turn it on after hours of melting it and then i could smell it again so i think it's just because i i would leave the home and come to the apartment and go back and forth so the next one i finished up was powdered donuts strawberry and cream and cupcake at tiffany's i do love cupcake at tiffany blends this was in a mystery box so not one that i would have purchased myself not really my style of scent. The strawberry came off like a vanilla waxy strawberry, so not a repurchase for me. This one was also, I think, in a 
mystery box. It's beach, sage, mint, bergamot waters, and winter linen. This was really nice and very long lasting. It was one of those scents that I really enjoyed a lot, but I don't think I need any more. But if someone gave it to me, I'd be like, oh, thank you. This is so nice. But I don't think I need to go out of my way to repurchase it. But sometimes I'm thinking maybe I do. I don't know. But I think if I have to like go back and forth if I needed it, chances are I don't, right? This one I did put on my list. It's vanilla ice cream, French vanilla, and espresso. This was really nice. It was a creamy coffee scent with just a nice balance and it performed about a medium. The next one was a little bit strong starting out and kind of tapered off. It's blackberry jam, butter cookies, zucchini pred, and roasted coffee. She has really good roasted coffee and I, I've come to learn that I really like her roasted coffee blends. The zucchini bread I did pick up, but it was kind of early in the warm and I remember thinking I liked it. Sometimes I don't. And then you obviously get the blackberry jam butter cookies quite strongly. From the Melted Mousse, I finished up Key Lime Pie, and this was very nice. It was probably one of the better Key Limes I've ever had. Her wax is a very greasy, soft consistency, which is usually good for throw, but sometimes not good for touching and things like that. I finished up from VCS Kevin, which is Vanilla Hazelnut Coffee Crunch. This was a light performer for me, so it would not be a repurchase. I can't remember the shape. It might have been a big leaf or a big poinsettia. I'm not sure. So I finished up three items from Canada. The first two were gifted to me by my friend Tracy, so thank you so much, Tracy. Always a surprise when you get something in the mail. This is from Melting Memories. It's crushed candy cane. This was a really beautiful melt. It had a lot of like swirling colors in it. It has mica, which I'm not a big fan of. Sometimes I think mica, and it could be my imagination, but I feel like it might, um, what's the word? I feel like it hinders the scent throw. It's almost like sludge in the bottom of the dish. Yeah, and this was about a medium maybe medium light. And I finished up Melting Memories Banana Nut Bread, and this was also about a medium, and this was enjoyable. It was a nice banana nut bread. I don't smell anything in here now, and I warmed this probably in February, so. Recently finished up a bakery bag in a local company. It's called Coastal Cove Candle Company, hand poured in Nova Scotia, and I looked it up. It was a Dartmouth, and that's where I grew up. So this is warm apple pie. So this one had, it's a soy, wax and it looked like mini melters all cut in uniform pieces it says apple flaky crust cinnamon and nutmeg i don't really get a lot of crust this one performed at about a medium light i appreciated the gift it's five ounce bag i don't need any more but it was nice to try a new company so now i can start fresh and hopefully do a little bit better i'll probably put these videos out every two months just because um my, i still have a lot of vendor wax and retail wax and candles but i'm right now i'm kind of heavily focusing on getting my Scentsy stash down. So sometimes that changes. Sometimes I'll go to Vendor Wax. Sometimes I'll go to Scentsy Wax. <laughs> Just depends on my mood. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck, Lewitts. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.